Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Universe Classics Galvatron and Cyclonus. And I like like these figures. Um, I do have one ish, one complaint. They had to turn Galvatron into a tank. This is not my favorite Galvatron figure. But given it's the only one I got, it's okay. They could have turned him in laser cannon. One of these days, I'm going to track me down the, the open and plays big cannon Galvatron, because that will be more to my liking. But for now, in my collection, he'll do. And here we got another Generations Classic, and this is Cyclonus. He's got his little Target Master. And Galvatron rolls. Cyclonus doesn't fly, but we're going to get down to transformation with these two. We're going to start out with the easier one, Cyclonus. I don't have the Armada Cyclonus or the... Uh, Combiner Wars version, or the Robots in Disguise Combiner Force Cyclonus. Yeah, I'm missing quite a few Cyclonuses, and I don't have the G1 either. So, a lot of Cyclonuses I'm missing. So, yeah. But he's a very simple transformation for the Universe Classic Cyclonus. We're gonna, going to pull it down his arms. Pull down his arm. And there we go. And peg them right in. And flip out his hands, which are very easy to flip out. Rotate. Fold the wing back. The hand, the arm straightened out, and we got an arm all done. Second verse, just like the first, fold, wing back, flip out his hand, and there we have, oh wait, we got the flop, turn around the head, and there we have Cyclonus. This one is very accurate to the movie verse Cyclonus, and I like it. Now we're gonna, and this one came with a target master. This Cyclonus has a target master. I forget what they called this one, but if you know, please leave me a comment. But he is a target master. Yep, he's a little target master. Now we're gonna get, come on, stand, stand. And we got his little Target Master standing. Now we're going to do Galvatron. We're going to... Alright, unplug in these. Unplug in these. Fold these outwards. And there is a mode you can sort of do when he's in this form if you want to you can give him a tank turn him into like a fusion cannon turn him into like the cannon from the movie which is my fan mode I want to show that off yeah. It's optional. But this is my fan mode cannon thing from the movie. But it's a thing you can do if you wish. It's just a poor representation of a fusion cannon, and his leg just came on. But now we're going to convert him into robot mode. 
Oh wait, no, we're going to... Where's that fan mode? But you can make him into a fusion cannon. Sure, it's, it's my toy, I do what I want. But there we have my fan mode of Galvatron's cannon mode. It's not bad, it actually looks pretty good. But now we're going to convert him into robot mode. So I have like two fan mode styles, I like to do him as a fusion cannon like he was in the movie. So he's not all terrible. He has parts that pop loose a lot. That's what I'm going to admit. We're making his fusion cannon arm. And we're making the Galvatron's robot mode. He is a bit tricky to transform into robot mode. But there we have one arm situated and done. I think, oh rotate the hand and there we got an arm all done now we're going to rotate this pull it down f turn around that flip out his hand and there we got his arm done his other arm done and here we have liter Galvatron and he looks looks pretty good in robot mode doesn't ha completely look like the uh, a animated movie Galvatron but he does pull it off pretty successfully so he's not very terrible he's just uh, a bit a bit blocky more Unique and a bit blocky and keeping him from tipping over. It's a bit of a pain in the neck. Come on, Galvatron, stand. And he's a hard, hard to stand. And where I got these, I got these from the uh, Still City Con here in Pennsylvania. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. Oh, I forgot one thing. We can pair Cyclonus with his target master so he can have his gun in hand. Nearly forgot about that. Okay, so this is Eddie Hill, now moving on, and rock on and rock out.